All right, and before starting working physically on the truck, here is the torque specification for all of the bolts you're gonna be working with. For example, this one here, as you can see, that's uh, 15 foot pounds and the nut for the wiper and so on. All right, and after seeing the torque specification for all the bolts you're gonna be working with, let me get started here. 21 millimeter lug nuts. And this is 19 millimeter nut, by the way. These are 17 millimeter uh, nut here. One, two, and three. For 10 millimeter nut here, one, two here, and another one here on this side. Here for the for the motor mount here in the front. And now I move here to the top of the engine for 10 millimeter bolt and another 14 here for uh, the motor mount for this motor mount here on top of the engine. I'm gonna remove the axle nut here. I want the axles to play a little bit just in case when I'm lifting up the engine. This is just in case, maybe it's not necessary. 30 millimeter axle nut here. I'm moving to this side here, to the passenger side. 17 millimeter nut, one, two, and three here. And the nuts on this motor mount, I'm gonna leave the three of them threaded a little bit on the start of the motor mount. I'm now removing them completely at this point. And this also is 19mm nuts. And remember that three nuts beneath in the motor mount are almost completely unbolted, but they are still threaded a little bit. Now I'm gonna be removing the two nuts, 17 millimeter nut and the rear and the rear motor mount, the small one. One more time, 17 millimeter nuts. These are this is the small the small motor mount, the roller right there. The one in the rear passenger side. This is the one in the bottom, the big one. It goes in this position like this, remember? This is how it looks like right there. And the roll goes here in the, in the middle of the hole. Now you will see this motor mount here and the rear only if your Sienna is four wheel drive. But if it's two wheel drive, you will not see it at all. Exactly like this. Alright, putting the new one and the old one next to each other and the new one is much farther than the, than the old one. The old one is so worn out, it's much thinner as you can see. Alright, I'm having an issue here with this roll. It doesn't fit, it's a little too long compared to the old one. So I'm gonna grind it a little bit on one side to make it fit. I don't care to modify it, I know it will, it will fit once I grind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now.
As soon as I stop using this winder here, I take out the battery because I'm afraid someone can step on the, on the trigger and that, that can cause a tragedy. So always take out the battery. And I'm having a hard time putting this thing there. So I'm going to apply some glue to stick it there and then I don't have to be dealing with it. And wait about three minutes and then uh, I'll try to stick it there. Put pressure against uh, uh, the bracket right there so it can get stuck easily. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it like that for, uh, for uh, about five more minutes. Now it has more than five minutes right there. All right, because it's complicated to hold this roll, so I put some rags around inside the brackets, as you can see, so I can hold it like that, and I don't have to be dealing with it too much. So when I'm bolting, it's gonna be easy. Alright, I got it in already. I'm gonna leave it like that. Alright, time to raise the engine here in order to take out the rest of the motor mounts, the one in the front of the van and also the one on the driver's side. Alright, beautiful. This is ready to come out. This is the one on the driver's side. Alright, this is the new motor mount here on the driver's side and it has been compared with the old one and uh, it looks almost exactly the same except except because of the stud. The stud is a little bit, this one is a little bit bigger. So I hope I don't have an issue with this, so I'm gonna try it. And as I said, the stud on this motor mount is a little bit bigger, so I will have to lift up the engine a little bit more, but very little, not a lot. So I don't think it's gonna be an issue. And now that I lift up the engine a little bit more, the holes are not matching anymore because the engine moved to the rear of the of the truck so i will have to pry the engine from the from the rear in order to fit the stud of the motor mount in the in the bracket of the engine here and i'm gonna leave it like that for now now this is 17 millimeter nut of the front of the, the front of the engine so because it's unbolted from beneath so i only have left uh, this uh this nut here 17 millimeter nut Alright, great. This motor mount is in already. One more time for 10 millimeter nuts. Alright, now I'm gonna leave all the nuts like that, kind of just bolt it just a little bit on all the motor mount. And that is because I want to play with them. I want to be able to move them because I'm about to bring down the engine and I'm gonna bring it down little by little. And then you have to be watching on all sides and all the motor mounts to see if the holes are matching with the studs and the motor mount. When you have another help is great, but if you're doing it by yourself, you have to manage how to do it. Alright, I brought down the engine a little bit, but I see that the stud on top of the, of the of this motor mount is far away from the hole and the bracket there on top, so I have to move the engine. I'm moving the engine here, and uh, but I'm having a hard time uh, lining up the holes with the, with the stud in the motor mount. From this angle I can see better. Alright, after a few minutes of fighting with this thing here, so finally the stud of the motor mount is in the hole already of the bracket on top. Alright, at this point, all the motor mounts will remain loose with the, all the nuts loose because they need to play. 
this one in the front and also the one on the, on the driver's side because I have to go to the passenger side to lift out the engine for me to remove the motor mount there and replace it. So all the motor mounts cannot be tightened at this point, but that will be seen on part two. Thanks for watching the video and God bless you all.